On this episode of AMA Air, find out how AMA members have been reaching for the stars for the last 50 years. And see how easy it is to search the National Model Aviation Museum's collection online. All that and more on this episode of AMA Air. And welcome to AMA Air, your source for modeling news. I'm Chris Savage. And I'm Claire Aldenheisen. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University again dominated the team competition at the annual Collegiate Drone Racing Championship. The 2019 contest, hosted by the University of North Dakota, was held April 14th. Embry-Riddle of Daytona Beach was among 46 colleges and universities that competed and went home with a first place win. Taking second place in the team competition was the University of Central Florida, followed by the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Eagles in third. In the individual competition, Patrick White finished first, Michael Sawaker was second, and Lincoln Black finished in third. Would you like a free AMA membership? If we've piqued your interest, you should read AMA President Rich Hansen's column in the May issue of Model Aviation. Rich explains the Sign 3 Fly Free program, which rewards you with free membership just for introducing three adults to the hobby. A new AMA sanctioned event that will celebrate RC and its community will take place June 1st in Longmont, Colorado. The inaugural AeroFest will offer a full multi-GP race course, a glider build tent for kids, and vendors. Hosted by the Innovation Center of St. Vrain Valley Schools, the site offers a 250-foot runway with 10-plus acres of flying area. The event will take place from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and is free for spectators. Up next, take a look at some upcoming events and learn how you can find one near you. And still ahead, find out how model airplanes are connected to walking on the moon. Join in on the excitement of the National Aero Modeling Championships. Register today at modelaircraft.org slash NACS. Johnson Field in Fallbrook, California will be the site of the 20th San Diego Heli Fun Fly. The event will be held May 17th through the 19th. And for the second year in a row, the Palomar RC Flyers are excited to offer the Align Flight Academy. Those who sign up will enjoy one-on-one -on -one training with world-class pilots and instructors. World War I and pre-1919 civilian aircraft of all scales will take to the sky May 17th and 18th at the Madison County Dawn Patrol event. Flying starts at dawn each day. Gas and electric-powered aircraft are welcome at the Indiana event. Model aircraft of any scale will have a chance to win one of a handful of awards at the all-scale event in Eagle Point, Oregon. The May 18th 19th contest is presented by the Rogue Eagles and takes place from 8 to 5. Saturday, May 18th is this year's date for the 2019 Rocket City RC Club Day. Join the Huntsville, Alabama Club for a day of fun and camaraderie. Food will be provided and there will be fun fly events and general flying. Spectators are welcome to attend for free. Do you love soaring with your glider? Or maybe you're just curious about gliders and you want to give one a try. If so, join the Northern Virginia Radio Control Club for a day of hunting thermals and having fun with some low-pressure competitive events. Glider Day at Lorton Burnett Field lifts off May 25th. Bring your scale civilian or military aircraft of any size to Yukon, Oklahoma, May 31st to June 2nd for the second annual Scale Aviation Weekend. Aircraft ranging in size from park flyers to giant scale are welcome. For more information on these events or to find one in your area, check out the sanctioned event calendar in Model Aviation or at modelaircraft.org. Up next, learn about the National Model Aviation Museum's new online resource. And still to come, don't miss an exciting announcement about AMA's ties to a historic event. Every journey starts somewhere. Our journey begins with imagination. And imagination can take us anywhere. Because 
the best journeys and with new beginnings. If you've always wanted to see what treasures are in the National Model Aviation Museum's collection but can't travel to Muncie, Indiana, now you can see what you're missing from the convenience of your easy chair. Let's take a look at the museum's new digital collection. Thanks to the support of AMA members, staff, donors, and museum patrons, the National Model Aviation Museum has completed a multi-year project to build an online digital collection. As of now, 830 object records and more than 2,700 library records are available for viewing. To begin viewing the digital collection, simply head over to collections.modelaircraft.org to get started. From there, you can do a keyword search or begin exploring using the categories at the bottom of the page. For example, under radio control, you may find something like this reproduction of the 1937 Big Guff gifted to Walt Good in 1988. You'll see a description of the object, as well as associated photos to go along with it. You can also see a set of highlighted objects that may spark your interest by clicking on the Highlights button in the navigation bar. Everything from event patches, to aircraft, to books, and even club jackets can be remembered and relived at the National Model Aviation Museum's Digital Collection. We hope that our members and non-members have found this information helpful. See you online soon. Almost 50 years ago this summer, an AMA member took one small step that changed history. For several months, the staff at AMA headquarters has been hard at work researching, conducting exclusive interviews, photographing, filming, and planning to bring you this exciting news. We can't wait to share it with you in future episodes of AMA Air and through our other media outlets. So stay tuned to learn how Apollo 11 astronaut Neil Armstrong's love of flying started with model airplanes. Only AMA has the true and intimate story about Neil's passion for flying models. Well, that's all for this episode of AMA Air. You can stay connected with us by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For even more videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And from all of us here at AMA, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, but for now, it's time to get flying.